have been very uh, carefully listening to all the uh, views expressed by most of the participants. And I think everybody has got a perspective on which they have been talking about the so-called instructional coaching. Personally, left to me as an educator, I am averse to both the words coaching and coaching, right? Both are bad, right? And uh, we are now in a world where the term coaching, which generally refers to your top-down, uh, I mean, flow of uh, knowledge by way of authority, by way of hierarchy, uh, whether it is a positional or by in terms of knowledge, right? And therefore, that goes with a sense of fear, not with freedom of learning. Therefore, we are in a world today, even the reverse osmosis doesn't work because there was a time about 10 years, 15 years before we found that the young teachers who came, we came with a lot of knowledge and therefore even senior teachers who had been, uh, you know, uh, going on the same pathway had much to learn from the juniors. But uh, right now, we are in a multidimensional osmosis happening. Everybody learning from everybody. And therefore, to me, even a student in the classroom is a coach to me. Right? So, the point what I'm trying to say is here is that uh, uh, the time has come that the schools should have, as our friends remarked, about collaborative learning centers, where there is no uh, authority of any teacher, uh, you know, uh, to... Uh, what do you call, uh, deliver knowledge or to insist on the methodology by which something has got to be taught, right? Because you know, even a senior physics teacher may come with a number of methods of teaching physics, but today with technology coming through, you find, you know, uh, the, the way. Just to give you a bit of information, yesterday I was uh, walking through an exhibition of educational technology and it really mesmerized me. I was really shocked to uh, see that what is going to be a classroom teaching in the next 10 years, right? That's a way that's happening. Therefore, when you talk about uh, empowering the teachers, the, uh, the concept of instructional coaching uh, is good enough as a handholding uh, initially uh, as a support system. But then schools should move away from that and to provide a learning platform which is, you know, uh, based on equity and a celebration of excellence of everybody in the system. That's my view. And uh, the focus has got to be on uh, enabling learning and in which even the teacher becomes a learner. For example, you made a, a, a reference about chemistry, right? Being a chemistry teacher, I know pretty well that if I were to continue today, the way I teach organic chemistry will be entirely different by uh, compared to the way I taught about 30, 40 years back, right? Uh, therefore, the... Um, I mean, uh, uh, pedagogical uh, innovations are happening day in and day out. Content is both expansion of knowledge and convergence of knowledge is creating a lot of problem, uh, even celebrating the formal knowledge in the classroom. So I think we must move towards a yeah, multidimensional uh, brainstorming uh, in schools uh, with the research centers for teachers where they must, uh, you know, learn from each other right from the principal down to the primary teacher. I think uh, even uh, I could see, uh, I learned a lot from a primary teacher, even though I, I, I could be a principal. I think our mindset has got to change. That's my view at this point. Thank you.